Hey guys, Carl G. Larson here. In this video, I'm going to give you one key strategy to accomplish any goal in your wellness life that you could possibly dream of, and in your life for that matter. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Carl G. Larson here, and today we got a really, really exciting video for you. Something I've been waiting to release because it is going to change everything for you if you take it and use it. There's a few things in my life that I've really done that have helped me continually progress. And one of the things is what I call my number one key strategy for making progress. And don't let the math equations scare you, the GB, GPDA squared. Um, hey, I was a physics major in college, guys. I'm kind of nerdy like that. I love the little exponential you know, thing there. So it's cool. It's totally good, but this is going to help. So what is it exactly, guys? It is a process that I use to set and um, work at and analyze and refine the goals that I set in my life. And that goes for all areas. It goes for my wellness, my relationships, my business, um, my family, all my spirituality, everything. But today we're talking this in wellness, okay? So what is your wellness goal? So let's get into the GPDA square process figure out how it's going to kick butt for you and figure out, hey, what could change for you in the next coming one, two, three, six, nine months that would totally blow your mind. And if you use this, guys, I'm very confident it will. Let's get going. Okay, here we go. What does, number one, what does the G stand for? Let's break it down. So number one, guys, the G stands for your goal. Anytime you want to make progress in your life, you got to set a goal. What is your intended target? It's so funny because so many people want certain things in their life. A bigger house, make more money, a deeper relationship, better relationship with their spouse or significant other. Yet so many people don't take the time and sit down in specifics what they actually want. If there's a, one thing I know for sure in this life, guys, it's this, is that you get whatever you ask for in this life. So let's say one of the things you want to do going forward is you want to make more money, which is awesome, right? I have an abundance mentality. I hope you make as much possible money as you possibly can and use it to help as many people as you possibly can. I want to do the same. I want to make as much money as I physically can in my lifetime to help as many people as I possibly can. So you just say, I want to make more money. That's your goal. Great. Well, I'll take out my wallet. I'll give you a dollar. You now have more money than you did a second ago. Boom. Goals done. Accomplished, right? And you're probably like, no, 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 no. This is, I want more than that. Okay. Well, great. How much money do you want? How much money do you want to make, right? In the next month, in the next six months, this next 12 month period, how much money do you want to make? So you got to get specific in your goal. Wellness guys, I want to lose weight. Great. You just lost a pound. Let's, I'll show you how to lose a pound. Lose a pound, done, right? No. What do you want to lose? Do you want to lose 10 pounds? Do you want to lose 14 pounds? Do you want to lose 22 pounds? Because that's what it's going to take for you to get into the clothes that you want to rock out, right? When you go out on a date with your spouse, with your wife, or when you, you know, go to your business meeting, guys. Like, what's your goal? You want to put on 15 pounds of muscle. For what end? Why do you want to put on that that 15 pounds of muscle. You want to bench a certain amount of weight or be able to compete in a CrossFit competition or do a Spartan race or run a marathon, whatever it is. Guys, why do you want to do that? So that's the second layer of your goal. First is what is your goal? The second layer is why do you want to accomplish that goal? Okay, because if you get in touch with the reason why, that's going to give you the passion, the purpose, the power, the drive, the emotional you know, intensity to be able to complete it when times get tough, because they will. Any type of, you know, big goal you set, there's going to be tough times. And so knowing why you want to do it is going to be more important than the how, because that's what's going to get you there. Because if you have the why, it doesn't matter the how. You'll try a bunch of different hows. The activity with how you accomplish your goal will change, right? But if you have your goal and the reason why you want to get it, that won't change. So for example, maybe you want to run a marathon because you have two little boys at home that are age nine and age seven, and you want to teach them that you can do whatever you set your mind to. And maybe you've never ran a marathon before, but you tell your, your boys, listen, boys, I've never ran a marathon before. It scares the shit out of me, but you wouldn't say shit probably. But it scares the crap out of me. But I'm going to do it because I want you guys to know whatever you set your mind to, you can accomplish. So you're teaching a lesson to your kids. And maybe that is the reason why you get up at 5 o'clock every morning and run on the treadmill. Or you get up at 5 o'clock in the morning and go run in the morning for who knows how long. 2, 3, 5, 10 miles in training preparation to accomplish that goal. So decide what your goal is, have a target to aim at, why do you want to accomplish it as a second layer. The second part of the PDCA squared process is the plan. 
Hey, let's continue with the marathon example. What's your plan for running a marathon? Like, are you just going to wake up one day and go run it? Probably not. You'll probably injure yourself really badly and it's not going to be good. And you probably won't accomplish your goal, which will defeat you and make you feel not good about what you're doing. So we have to have a game plan going into the activity of trying to accomplish your goal. So what is that game plan for you? And what I do, guys, when I set goals and I'm trying to figure out you know, what is my plan? I talk to people who have what I'm going for. So if it's a wellness goal, maybe there's someone at my gym that is more fit than me or had is more experienced in a certain lift than me or has done a, you know, a Spartan race more intense than I have and got a better time on it. Okay, I want to talk to them and ask, okay, hey, what did you do? How did you train? Give me some guidance because I want to accomplish that too. And the funny thing is, guys, if you ask people for help from a place of sincerity and of growth, Nine times out of 10, the people will be more than happy to help you because they're excited. Someone else is excited that they're trying to get better. Okay, so have a plan. Maybe you want to lose 22 pounds of body fat in the next three months. How are you going to do that? Well, you got to know you got to know what you're going to eat, when you're going to eat it, how much you're going to eat. You got to know the times you're going to work out, what type of workouts you're going to have, who's going to be your accountability partner, right? Um, I mean, all of those different things goes into a plan. So I would say my piece of advice on a plan is to talk to someone who has what you want and ask them to give you guidance and they'll be able to steer you in the right direction. Okay, maybe not so much over here, go over here a little bit more. Uh, right now you're kind of in the clouds, man, come on down. This is really what we need to focus on to move forward in the next step. Okay, so that's the type of thing a coach can do for you. Find a coach or someone that can help give you guidance. We got a goal, we got why we want to do the goal, we got a plan. Next step, guys, is to do the plan. Okay, as we move down this PD, uh, PDC, excuse me, uh, GPDAA process, uh, can't talk today. As we move down this process, let me tell you, the numbers get slimmer, okay? Because the more work you have to do, people are naturally lazy. I'm going to be just straight up, guys. There's a lot of lazy people out there. It's obviously not you because you're watching this video right now, but setting the goal, figuring out why will take a certain amount of work, planning it out will take even more work doing it where the actual rubber hits the road will take even more work and most people won't do this. So are you the type of person that falls off or are you the type of person that follows through? That's my challenge for you. You got to decide what you're going to do here. Doing the plan. So you, you set it, you plan it, now you do it. And again, your timeline for how long the doing will take is within this plan. Okay. And I would say if it's going to, if your overall plan is going to take three months to accomplish, let's say, then have regular checkpoints of if you're making progress or not. And here's, here's the next one analyze so that kind of leads me oh boy i think i spelt it right so that kind of leads i was talking about checkpoints so let's say three months let's say you want to lose 22 pounds of pure body fat and it's gonna you determine by working with your coach and other people have done it you're like okay 20 three months 22 pounds of body fat are gone gonna be gone so what is that 8 16 20 about seven and a half eight pounds of body fat a month so how do you do that right that's the plan doing it okay now every few weeks i would say every week every two weeks you got to stop for a second and be like, okay is what i am doing working am i moving forward so if you're trying to lose body fat i would say with your coach get a scan done of some type uh, a scan that will scan and figure out how much muscle you have how much body fat percent you have what's your composition how much bone density do you have things like that it's like feedback to let you know as if your process is working or not because if you're if you're losing weight right? Let's say after four weeks, after one month, third of the way through your three month process to lose 20 pounds of body fat. After one month, you've lost eight pounds. You're like, yeah, I'm on track, but you get a scan done. And the scan says, actually, dude, seven of the eight pounds you lost was all muscle. You only lost one pound of body fat. You're way off. You're way off. Okay. So again, you got to have feedback and analyze what your feedback is to be able to determine if you're actually moving forward or not. And it, this process probably logically seems simple, guys, but it's it takes a hell of a lot of work and most people won't do it. So again, what type of person are you? But you gotta analyze the activity that you do and determine if you're moving closer or further away. And again, in the analyzation, that's where your coach should be. That's where your uh, guidance person, your mentor should be with you to figure that out so they can kind of help move you in the right direction, okay? And the last one, guys, is adjust. You gotta adjust. You gotta adjust your plan. So. It's kind of like this revolving, it's like you start here and you go step by step by step, right? And then you make adjustments and then you start back over. 
And if you have to readjust your goal, great, no problem, guys. You gotta be flexible in this wellness journey. Um, or maybe you keep the goal and the timeline the same, but now you change your plan. So what you were doing maybe wasn't working exactly the way you wanted to. So maybe you're eating a little too many carbs, not enough protein. So now for the next two weeks, you drop your carbs and you put your protein up a little more. Let's see how that affects your composition of your body. And you again, you do that for two weeks, then you analyze it again, get another scan done, make further adjustments. So it's this refinement process continually, this ever, ever going flow of um, setting your goal, setting your timeline, making a plan, doing it, analyzing it, making adjustments. That is how you progress towards what you want. And just a little tip to the wise here, you can take this process for any area of your life, for your business, for your financials, for your relationships. I track everything, it's kind of freaky actually. So uh, a lot of times uh, my wife is a little freaked out about that because it's a little intense. I just love to know what I'm doing, if it's working or not. So for you guys, take this and implement it starting right now because we wanna start moving forward towards your goals. Okay guys, again, this is the process I continuously use in my life to make, to, to move forward and to accomplish what I want. And things have worked out pretty well for me. In five years, I've gone from living out of my car, guys, to living in my dream home on a lake with my beautiful dream wife. We started a family, got a rockin' business. She's got a rockin' business, guys. It's just out of control. And again, I don't tell you that to, to pump my own tires. I don't tell you that to brag, I really don't. Um, I just tell you that because the only way that's, that, that happened for me by the time I was 30, building up a multi-million dollar business by the time I'm 30, is that I used this process to make it happen. And again, we gotta start with your wellness, daddypreneurs. We gotta start with your wellness. We gotta get you foundationally strong with your nutrition first and your exercise second, so you can go into your business and kick ass, go into your life and your family and your relationships and lead by example and really inspire others to do the same. And guys, that all starts with setting the foundation and having a plan doing the plan, analyzing the plan, and making adjustments as necessary. So hopefully this helped, guys. Leave a comment below. If you loved this information and you want more, there is an opportunity for you guys. Go check out my website, carlglarson.com, and uh, check out the Elite Coaching Program. There's a link below to, to figure it out because, guys, it's gonna walk you through this process in way more depth and way more detail with a community and a group of people that will really help you to maximize everything you're trying to accomplish because they're gonna be doing the same thing. And then I'm gonna be giving you guys over a 30,000 foot view feedback of what's happening wellness-wise for all y'all so you guys can get the energy and vitality you want to accomplish what you want in your life. So guys, with that, check it out. I'm excited to be here with you today. Uh, thank you for the time, and we'll talk to you soon.